Hey, John here, and this is the Fuji X20, and in this video I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, the movie mode uh, and what you can do with it. Now, the movie mode, you just switch to the movie icon on the mode dial, and you can push the shutter button to uh, start recording. It's that simple. Uh, and once you start recording, it does have a little uh, blinking red thing here, and it shows you uh, the countdown of how much time you have left. And you just push it again to stop and it stores it. Now, uh, some nice things about the movie mode. Uh, the exposure compensation dial works, so you can uh, do, you know, make the video a little darker, make it a little brighter, whatever you uh, want to do. It's a very simple way to adjust exposure in the movie mode. Now, if I go into the menu, uh, we get this new um, movie menu, which is only available in this mode. Now, these are my different qualities of video. I can do Full HD at 60 frames per second, 720 at 60 frames per second, um, 640 at 30 and 80 frames per second and then these rather strange modes 320 by 240 at 150 frames per second and 320 by 112 at 250 frames per second. Now playing these uh, movies back on this little screen they look kinda cool. Playing it back on any other screen makes it look kinda ridiculous because it's so pixelated. However it can still be a pretty fun thing to uh, have or to, to play around with. If you do choose to use one of these high speed uh, frame rate modes, you want to make sure to, to probably do it outside. Any fluorescent or LED lighting is, is definitely going to cause a flicker because of the, the hertz of the electrical source for those types of uh, lights. And they just, they just flicker and so um, it can be very, very distracting. Now in the movie mode, the face detection is always on. You can uh, turn the scene recognition on or off, which is basically the camera trying to use its own photographic presets in the movie mode in order to get a better exposure, a more appropriate exposure. Uh, what's really cool, you can also simulate uh, film, simulate film in the movie mode. Uh, so you have all your standard choices here, just like you do in uh, the regular shooting mode. Here you can actually... Um, it's a little strange. You want to have this on movie priority is what you want because that particular setting, it appears, as far as I can tell, is that you push the shutter once to do a movie and then you push it again and something about taking a photo and it's just not something I'm interested in. But you might be the mic level adjustment. There's left and right, um, which are actually located on the front here. Uh, but you can, you know, put that up, put it down. You get a little bit of control there, which is nice. Now if you're already in movie mode here um, and you're ready to shoot and you want to change something quickly, you can also just push the Q button and then use the wheel to change things. So here I can see there's my high speed 250 frames per second mode. I can change my white balance, film simulation, and the brightness of my LCD screen. So you can see that in my high speed mode here, um, it only gives me 30 seconds, uh, but it does change it into this very kind of interesting cinema format. So if I put my hand in front of there and stop it. Alright, so let's see how that footage plays back. And, uh, and when you're in the uh, review mode here, in order to play videos, you push down. So it's just kind of a, a fun way to capture your friends maybe doing some, some fast things and see them doing slowly.